Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can save files on OneDrive. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now on my desktop on my computer and this is how the homepage looks like. So the first thing that you need to do guys is open File Explorer. If you don't find this right here, just go to the start menu and then search for File Explorer. Once you find it, go ahead and click on open and then you're going to be right here in this window. Once you're here, as you can see guys in the left, you're going to find all of the sections. Here you're going to find home, gallery, and here you're going to find the OneDrive folder. So right now, go ahead and right click on the OneDrive folder. And then right here, you're going to find all of these options. Here you're going to find the option to copy it. Here you can expand it, open in a new tab, open a new window, and so on. And right here, as you can see, guys, you're going to find the option to always keep on this device, free of space. And lastly, right here, you're going to find OneDrive. Go ahead and click on OneDrive. And then here, you're going to find these three options, view online, settings. And lastly, right here, you're going to find folder color. So right now, go ahead and click on view online. And then this will take you to this page on the web. So basically, guys, once you're here, as you can see, guys, in the left, you're going to find all of the sections. Here, you're going to find my files recent photos shared and lastly right here you're going to find the recycle bin if you go to my files here you're going to find all of your files and folders and right now if you want to add a new file just go to add new and then here you're going to find the option to add a new folder upload the file upload the folder and so on so right now go ahead and click on files upload and then just go ahead and choose the file that you want to upload double click on it and then you're going to be able to upload the file. So this is us guys for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.